So most of the people watching this are probably going to be from the UK or the US or from the West or from or just from Europe. Um, you know, for most guys, you know, you're probably going to be a single guy working a normal job. Maybe you've got like anywhere from two weeks to a month holiday per year. Um, you know, that's normal. Um, a lot of guys I find are just not actually making the most of their holiday time. And I honestly think that if you're a single guy who knows about this stuff and is actually doing it in your hometown, you should really be spending as much time as you can, you know, traveling to, you know, places, you know, in these second world countries where, you know, your dating life is going to be infinitely better, you know. Now, I understand, that, you know, ob obviously the ideal would be to, you know, actually permanently move to these places or not necessarily forever, but at least, you know, be able to sort of work independently from geographical location and actually spend more time in these places. Um, you know, that's the ideal, but of course it's easier said than done. It's not, it's not like anyone can just do that. <clears throat> um, you, you know, if you have a normal job, that that's normal, you know, that, that that's fine. But at least make the most of your holiday time. Spend those two weeks in another country, um, you know, do some dating with the local girls in that country. You'll have an amazing time. And it'll be, you know, I say to guys actually that if you spend like two weeks dating, for example, in Colombia, those two weeks would be better than six months in some random city in the UK. You know, I would take that any day, any day, you know. So it really is that, that much of a difference, really. Um, you know, and so it's just so worth doing, you know, it's it's so worth doing. Um, <clears throat> you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a case of, you know, packing your bags, moving over there, being a digital nomad for, you know, for the rest of your life. It doesn't have to be like that. But it's really just about e economizing the amount of time that you've got in your holiday time and making every single day count. Um, I do recommend going for two weeks as opposed to one week, uh, mainly because you can spend more time actually going on dates and actually embracing that dating lifestyle. Um, it's very difficult to do within one week because, you know, it takes a bit of time to actually build up a pipeline of leads or collecting numbers and arranging things. And yeah, logistics are, are an issue as well. You know, it's, it's a lot easier to arrange dates and meeting up uh, in two weeks as opposed to one week. It's a lot of pressure. You know, I've seen it so many times. It's happened to me as well where, you know, I've been to a place for a short amount of time. Finally, you know, there's this really girl, nice girl I want to meet up and uh, she's got no time. Or it's like, you know, I'm leaving on Sunday. Can we meet on Saturday? No, I'm busy on Saturday. Uh, I guess we can't meet then, you know. So, yeah, <clears throat> allow uh, allowing as much time as possible, really. I mean, if you can spend a month in a place, that that's, that, that's, that's amazing. But um, I think most guys, I think in the UK, you know, the standard is about four weeks holiday. So if you spend like two weeks in one place, two weeks in another place then yeah that, that per year you know that's really good and if you're a single guy uh, who knows about this stuff and you're not doing that then you, what are you doing you know what what are you doing with your holiday time you're, you're really not making the most of it in my opinion um, it's, it would be an, an amazing experience of course you know you can come up with excuses like oh I'm, I don't feel comfortable traveling or you know oh, I don't have anyone to go with but come on you, you, you've got to do it yourself you know you can't be relying on other people or external factors you've really got to push yourself um, you know if you're a complete beginner to this of course you know going over to like Colombia to do day game isn't necessarily you know the most sensible thing to do but you know learn in your home country learn in your home city once you've got to at even just a, a reasonable level, doesn't have, you don't have to be amazing at it, then you can you know start traveling and um, the experience will be a million times better. Uh, the quality of the girls, the friendliness, the receptiveness, just the general vibes you're gonna get, infinitely better when you go abroad. Um, and the further away from the West you go, generally the better it gets. Um, so yeah, thinking about second world countries, you know, places around Europe, uh, Latin America, Asia, yeah, there's some really good places, infinitely better when it comes to uh, the dating side of things compared to the West. Cheers for watching. If you'd be interested in one to one coaching with me, where we'll go out in public and work on your approaching girls, or more generally with your social confidence, please visit my website ed-game.com.